All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is comedian Lucas Bone with another episode of Life Below Deck. I am on the Enchantment of the Seas with the awesome headlining entertainer for the night, Mr. Dario El Gaucho. Dario, how you doing, sir? What's up, guys? All right. All right. Dario, <laughs> we're doing great. Dario, y your show is uh, a gaucho show. I did not know what a gaucho was. Can you tell us what is a gaucho and where does the, um, where does your show originate from? Uh, originally from Argentina, from the Pampas of Argentina, the inland. And uh, there's gauchos also in, in Uruguay and southern Brazil. A lot of people don't know that. And uh, it all started when I was a little kid in Argentina. I have uh, an older brother who is retired now. He's 10 years older than I am. I'm not going to tell you how old I am. I look pretty young, I hope. You look great, man. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, he's a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, as a young, I was about 12 when I started swinging the balls. You know, like, uh, where are they? Yeah. Yeah. These are the balls. Are they called bolos? Or? They're, they're originally called boleadoras. Okay. In America, we call them bolos, but yeah. you know, uh, f short for boleadoras. You know, a lot of people can't say that word, so bolos. Okay. That's it. Yeah. And you also do a little bit of drumming and a little bit of, I don't want to call it tap dancing because it's not tap dancing. It's uh, like it's stepping. Not, it's not tap dancing. It's called zapateo. It's a little, uh, you know, if people are familiar with flamenco, okay, from Spain, it's something like that. And also with the bolos, it's pretty unique from South America. And uh, yeah, I opened the show with my drum, you know, making a lot of noise, waking people up. And uh, I also do a few magic tricks in my show and some comedy. So, awesome. Yeah. How did you learn to use the bolos? Like, you said your brother influenced you, or did he teach you? Or uh, yes, he taught me. Yeah, he left Argentina in 1975. He went to Europe. I was a little, about nine years old okay and uh, he came back in uh, 82 and he brought the bolos he gave me a set of bolos and taught me the first steps and then uh, I joined him in Europe for a couple of years and touring around learning the show and then uh, in 1986 we came to the United States my brother and I and uh, until he retired and then I continued by myself now, you spin those bolos around very, very quickly. I can only imagine there's probably been one or two times when you've accidentally whacked yourself. Do you have a quick story or uh, you can tell us? Yeah, actually, I hit myself quite often. You know, if you're not, <laughs> if you're thinking about something else in the show and you hit yourself. But a uh, funny story was when I used to do the show with my brother, uh, we used to do the finale of the show was with fire, both of us. Wow. So I hit my foot with the fireball and I didn't know that my butt was, was on fire so my brother saw me so he started I'm gonna stand up for this so he started next to me hitting my butt as I was doing it <laughs> he was hitting my butt trying to put the fire off meanwhile his fireball was no. were giving him fire in the leg so oh, no. was, after he put my butt out, <laughs> out then he had to hit himself oh, no. that was the end of the show it was that's a heck of a finale. It wasn't, it wasn't funny. <laughs> my brother was really pissed off. But now we talk about it and we laugh. That's awesome. That, what, that what an awesome finale. I bet yeah. people ne would never forget that. Yeah. Dario, thank you so much. We are going to end the uh, interview tonight with some of your um, some of the bolos uh, from your show. Guys, Great. tune in next week. Uh, all new interview on Life Below Deck. Dario, thank you awesome, so man. much. Thank See you, you then, buddy. See you next time.